Pandemics can end, things can get better if we decide we want to do the work. Look, we've done it before. Through international cooperation, we're able to eradicate smallpox. And I think the lesson of smallpox is when we decide we're going to do this, when we set our minds to it, when we invest the resources, the time, the people, the money, we can do this. I'm Dr. Celine Gounder, and I'm a disease detective. A variant strain of a virus is essentially a, a mutant virus. When a virus spreads from person to person and it replicates, it mutates. And over time, when viruses mutate, they evolve to become new virus variants. And that's how we get variants like the Omicron variant. The Omicron variant is a new mutant form of COVID. It is more infectious than any other COVID variant to date. What makes the Omicron variant concerning is that it's very infectious, very transmissible, and is spreading very quickly from person to person. The Omicron variant also seems to evade our immune defenses, at least to some degree, especially with immunity from prior infection, what some people call natural immunity, but also to some degree, with the immunity we get from vaccination. For a pandemic to end, most of the population needs to be immune to the virus such that you don't see big surges in cases anymore. For the COVID pandemic to end, 85, 90% or more of the population will need to be immune. Herd immunity is when enough of the population is immune to a virus such that as the virus tries to spread from person to person, it keeps hitting a dead end, somebody who is already immune. For enough people to get immune, enough people need to either get infected or vaccinated. What's important about that is that infection carries a very real risk of disease, hospitalization, and death and one infection may not be robust and durable enough to give you long-term immunity. If everyone in a country got fully vaccinated, the virus would have nowhere to go in that country. If everyone in the world got a vaccine, the virus would have a very hard time spreading from person to person, and we would see the pandemic come to an end. Elimination refers to a specific geography where you stop transmission of the virus, say, within North America. Eradication is where there is no transmission of a virus in human populations anywhere in the world. I think there's a misconception, you go from pandemic to eradication. I don't think that's what we're gonna see with COVID. I think we're gonna go from pandemic to endemic. And endemic means you have a lower, more predictable level of transmission in the community. You're not seeing these big surges in cases, hospitalizations and deaths. The problem with COVID in the United States is largely one of political will and politicization. We have the tools to get to the other side of the pandemic. We are choosing not to use them. The problem with COVID globally is really a question of equity, of equitable access to the tools to end the pandemic. And right now in much of the world, people still do not have access to vaccination. Many people around the world do not have access to COVID vaccine because there simply has not been enough vaccine made. We will require 11, 12 billion doses of COVID vaccine to vaccinate everyone around the world. And the manufacturers have not made that many doses to go around. Many have been advocating for the pharmaceutical companies to share their vaccine recipes, their manufacturing know-how with other manufacturers around the world so that we could make more vaccine to get everyone vaccinated more quickly. 
but vaccine manufacturers have refused to share their recipes and manufacturing know-how to allow that to happen. Vaccine manufacturers, of course, make a profit trading on their proprietary information, their recipes to make vaccines, knowledge of how to make vaccines, and are really unwilling to share that information with others. The longer it takes to make enough vaccine to vaccinate the world, the longer it takes to get shots in arms around the world, the longer it will take to end the COVID pandemic around the world. I think the challenge of variant strains is that it's a moving target. And so we do need to adapt over the course of a pandemic. The strategies that might have worked early on or what we thought we knew early on may evolve over time. And so we need to be adaptable and change our strategies accordingly. Pandemics can end, we've seen it in the past. The advantage we have over the past is we now have tools to put a fast forward on that transition. That fast forward button is vaccination.